Hello and welcome to another Portworks demo. In this demonstration, we are going to be talking about the latest and greatest release from Portworks Backup, which is version 2.3. In the, in the 2.3 release, Portworks announced a new feature called Backup Sharing that allows users in the same organization to share their backup snapshots or application snapshots across different users or with different users in the same organization, or maybe even with an entire group of users in the same organization. You can do this at two levels. You can share individual backup snapshots with users. So in the future, if you are not available as a developer to restore your application, maybe your application owner or somebody from your own team, a second developer can go ahead and restore that application for you on a different cluster if needed. The second way to do this is share an entire cluster. So basically any backups that already exist and any future backups that belong to that cluster resource will automatically shared we will be automatically be shared with the, the receiver that can be an individual, an application owner, a developer or an entire team of uh, resources. So uh, in this demonstration, we are going to show you how all of this actually works. So to do this, we have three different users for you. The, the primary users is, is one of the developers uh, who is also an administrator for PX Backup. He has two uh, different uh, Kubernetes clusters. In this case, it's Amazon EKS clusters with a few applications already running and a few backup snapshots already being taken. Uh, and then we have uh, two different personas. We have another developer account and then we have an application owner as well. So uh, we'll cover a couple of different scenarios. In the first scenario, we'll see how you can share a single application backup snapshot with another developer from the team. And then the second scenario will focus on how you can share an entire cluster and all the backups that belong to it with the application owner. And then we'll talk about what are the different roles and permissions that you can assign when you're sharing these backups. So let's start with uh, sharing an individual backup snapshot. To do this, we'll select the demo dash bsha dash prod EKS cluster, go to the backups tab, and you can see we have a simple WordPress site that's running that already has a backup. It is backing up two persistent volume, nine different Kubernetes resources. And to share this backup snapshot, all we need to do is select the snapshot that you want to share, hit share, and here is where you can enter the name of the user or the group that you want to share this backup with. So in this case, I'm just sharing it with another developer from my team uh, whose username is just dev user one. And once I select that user, I can select the level of permissions that I want to assign. I can just do a view only access, I can do a restore access, or I can do a full access. View only basically means the other developer can see all the different backup snapshots that are available. Restore access allows them to restore that application from that application snapshot. And then full access gives them that additional or super user level where they can actually go ahead and delete a backup snapshot if they want to. So when you are sharing your backup snapshots, you do want to be careful with the level of permissions that you are assigning. And again, don't worry if you maybe give full access to somebody, but in the future you want to come, uh, change it and restrict it to maybe a restore access or a view only access, Portworks Backup allows you to do that as well. So that's how easy it is to share an individual backup snapshot. Let's switch our browser sessions and look at uh, the PX Backup interface from a dev user one user account. Here you can see as the second developer, I don't have any uh, clusters of my own, but if I click on all backups, I can see a line item which, which shows me the WordPress backup that my first developer created. Uh, you will find that th there's a small logo at, on the right side which shows or highlights that this is a shared backup copy. But then since this user has restore access, all they can do is view it and then restore it if they want to. So this is a shared backup. If I click on it, you will see that I can do view JSON, show details or restore my application from this application snapshot. So that's how it looks uh, to the receiver of a shared backup. So now that we know how to do a single application snapshot sharing, let's do it at the cluster level. So for that, we have another EKS cluster called demo-px.bisha. And in this case, we have a couple of different applications running across different namespaces and we have different kinds of backup snapshots as well. We have scheduled backups, which take a snapshot every 15 minutes. Uh, we have individual one-time manual backups for Pac-Man application. And then we have an object lock enabled backup snapshot as well, which protects my organization from maybe a ransomware attack. So there are different kinds of backups and instead of sharing one at a time with my application owner, what I can do as a developer is share the entire cluster all the backups inside it with my app owner and give him or her full access or restore access. This way, 
uh, if something happens and I'm not available as a developer, my application owner can select which snapshot to use. So in a scheduled backup scenario, they can select the latest uh, uh, snapshot that they have and restore my application using that. So to share an entire cluster, we go back to the dashboard, select the, the buttons on the right hand side and then click share all backups. This basically means I'm sharing my entire cluster with uh, with a different user or a different group of users. I can do the same thing, select my application owner's account. So application owner, username is app owner and at demo.com it says email. I can select that user and then I can again do view only access, restore access and full access. Since this is my application owner, I'll be more uh, generous and give them full restore access or full access to my entire backup uh, cluster. So now that I have shared my uh, back uh, entire cluster and all the backups inside it, let's switch to a different browser session and log in as an application owner. So this is what it looks like. And then we'll go to the dashboard and click on all backups because all backups is the place where you can see all the different backups that are being shared with you or the backups that you have created on your own. Here you can see that uh, all the four backup snapshots that we saw uh, from the admin account also show up in the application owner account. And you can see that my scheduled backups show up, my object lock enabled backups show up, my one time ad hoc backups show up and I get the ability to not just restore it, but also remove an application snapshot. So please make sure that the, the receiver that's the, the person that you are assigning or sharing your backups with uh, with a full access uh, has the right set of like uh, is the right user you want to share it with because you don't want users to go ahead and randomly delete your application snapshots when you share ba individual backups or all of your uh, backups in, in, a, in a specific cluster you also share the underlying cloud accounts and backup locations so uh, now i can as the application owner let's see how i can use a shared backup to restore it to a completely different EKS cluster that's running in US East one. So as an application owner, I don't need to have access to the login for my first developer. I don't need to have access to their EKS cluster. If in a scenario where I need to restore my application to a different EKS cluster, I can just use my PX backup interface, select a new demo dash backup target cluster, add it to my uh, PX backup interface. And once that's ready, I can click on all backups again, find the application snapshot that I want to use to restore my application from. So uh, let's select one of the Kubernetes logo backups. And in this case, uh, we'll select uh, the object lock enabled backup because we want to make sure that if, if my data has been messed with, I do have an immutable uh, backup snapshot that I can restore from. The restore process is similar to how it was before with Portworks backup. Uh, you give it a name, you select the destination cluster, you can change certain things like you can change the namespace, you can change the storage class, or you can keep it to default restore and perform that restore operation. As the application owner, you can monitor how your replace uh, restore operation is going from the Portworks backup interface. And at the same time, you can also switch to your Kubernetes CLI session and do your kube CTL or kube cuttle commands to look at how the restore operation is progressing. So once the restore operation is successful, you will see that it's green. Uh, it restored one volume and seven different resources to my target cluster, at which point we can go ahead and validate that the restore operation actually succeeded, not just from the UI, but also from our CLI interface. Maybe also find the new load balancer endpoint where I can go and find my new restored application to and from. So let's do that. As an application owner, we have used, uh, used our shared backup snapshot and performed a restore operation on a brand new Amazon EKS cluster. And then let's see how the restore operation went. So if I do a kubectl get all in the demo namespace, you see that we have a couple of deployment objects, a couple of pods, a couple of service objects, and we have a new ELB load balancer endpoint where our application has been restored to. So if we navigate to that endpoint, you will see that our application has been successfully restored. This is a simple web app that we use for demos where every anywhere you click, it generates a Kubernetes logo and stores the X and Y coordinates in a back in Postgres database. So that's the simple stateful application that we have for our demos. So our application has been successfully restored without the application owner needing access to the source cluster or without even having to talk to the developer who might be on PTO. So this is how easy it is to use the new feature called backup sharing from Portworx 
in input works backup version 2.3 to not just share individual backup snapshots but entire clusters uh, worth of backup snapshots as well let's say if you want to change things around right like you don't want to share that backup anymore you can as easily find the backup snapshot that you want to take the permissions away from so uh, let's let's use the wordpress example that we began the demo with so i will find my wordpress backup dash one uh, backup snapshot and then when i click on share again i have the privilege to remove that sharing so i can basically click that x mark in front of this dev user one and remove all of all sorts of permissions from that user so then the dev user one persona can no longer see the application snapshot or restore from it to val so that's how easy it is to manage permissions so if we go back to the dev user one persona and click on all backups so let's just validate we are in the right profile between different browser sessions we are logged in as dev user one if i click on all backups we can no longer see the wordpress dash backup dash one backup that was originally being shared with this user so that's how easy it is to share backups and that's how easy it is to uh, uh, like remove access to a specific application snapshot of using your admin privileges so uh, with that that takes us to the end of this demonstration hopefully you found it useful uh, thank you for watching